School levies are often divisive issues, but in Beechwood, something unusual is going on. An out-of-town opposition group is helping to wage war against the local levy. Consumer investigator Danielle Serena has been working to find out why and who they are. Danielle. Lena, this is an ugly battle over a multi-million dollar levy. And while it's actually smaller than those being asked by other suburban school districts near Cleveland, and Beachwood has never failed to pass a levy, this one may be very close given the ads being run by a mystery group. And we just don't know why they're interested in us. But why is the trick question the Beachwood City Schools want answered as they try to pass the first bond levy in seven years and the first operating levy in 13? It's to offset spending cuts from Columbus and help build a new elementary school. The two existing ones are 62 years old. If it doesn't pass... We will have to implement some cuts to programs and services because we are required by the state of Ohio to operate always in the black. Issue two is a bad idea. But a group called the American Policy Coalition out of Montana is running an online ad to defeat the approximately $40 million levy, claiming it will increase class sizes and reduce individualized learning. They're engaged in scare tactics that I hope our Beechwood community views it with the same skepticism that I do. The only local connection to this group seems to be this Cincinnati area attorney who's represented a number of conservative groups which have spent millions on political races across the country. But on a school levy? Someone locally is afraid to put their name out as someone who financed the opposition. Mikhail Alterman is a Beechwood resident and part of a group called Low Tax Citizens, which is against the levy, calling it a fraud. He believes the district should renovate the existing schools as the new ones would cost way more than the district is saying, but adds this outside group is actually hurting them. It took us off the message. We're talking about some out of state Montana something. And while he would prefer American policy wasn't this phantom group, we'll their goals the are certainly the same. For viewers out there who think that they're one levy away from educational paradise, may not be necessarily so. The superintendent tells me the money for this levy will also be used to help private schools with transportation. If it fails, they say they'll bring it to vote again in the November elections. I'm Danielle Serino, Channel 3 News.